Welcome back, Gonzaga, honoring its lone senior, Stephen Gray, on senior night at the McCarthy Athletic Center. Let's take you out there right now. It seems like just yesterday he was matching Steph Curry at Davidson three for three in the NCAA tournament as a true freshman. Gray Stroke was absent early against Cal State Bakersfield, so he was finding his friends instead. Moth is murning off for the triple. Zags up three. The Roadrunners hanging tough early. Stephon Carter finds Craig Jones for the deuce. Bakersfield with a 17-14 lead, but GU was done playing around. David Stockton ignites the run as he buries the wide open three ball to tie it up. Then it's Stockton looking like his pops on the nice look inside of Sam Dower, who tied Robert Sacre for team high honors with 16. Zags up five, and it would only get worse. Marquise Carter waits for Elias Harris to break free, then hooks him up with the alley oop. That's pretty. The lead was 18 at the half, and Gray opened the second half with another three. He had nine all on threes, and afterwards, Gray and the gang cut down the nets in celebration of their latest WCC title. 96-49 is the final. The Zags will take a 22-9 record in the semifinals of the WCC tournament. It was our third game in five days, so I uh, uh, thought we came out a little slow, but uh, in the second half, I thought we played really, really well. They beat some of the guys in our conference, so we had to respect them coming into this game. So uh, it was one of those games we had to get ourselves ready to go, and we were playing basically for Steve, so I think that was the most important thing. Well, Jim Hayford's Whitworth Pirates learned they were given the number one overall seed in the NCAA Division III tournament when the bracket was released this morning. They're also one of just three schools to earn a first round bye. The Pirates, who won their conference tournament title over the weekend, will host the winner of Thursday's game between Redlands and Chapman on Saturday night. And Hayford is just happy to see his team's hard work rewarded. We've already won the first game, and we didn't, and no one got hurt. And, uh, and then uh, we get to play on our home court in the second round for the right to go to Sweet 16. Uh, I, I couldn't have written it up any better myself. Family gets to come watch the game, and I think it's great for the community and all the students and everybody. It's awesome. Saturday's second round contest tips off at 7 o'clock, so Whitworth needs just one win to make that Sweet 16. The Gonzaga women moved up one more spot to number 22 in this week's AP Top 25. The Zags won't play again until Sunday in the semifinals of the WCC tournament.